Onde não mora, quero a amizade de Deus não ver a fé. É só para ver que saco que o Senhor fez lá, que é um cara que é bom dia, eu vou ter que gravar na minha vida. Guerreiro, que tu é uma decisão, servir bom dia, tudo bom dia. Est-ce que vous avez un monde là qui veut ta remède ou senti pour ma frappe L'Apocalypse 3, verset 20, dit Je frappe à la porte, soutenez ma frappe et l'ouvrez. La foi appelle. Si mon cœur qui t'a remède, c'est Jésus-Christ, comme sauveur, comme maître, vini dans le ministère. Dédicacez-le au Seigneur. Ou pas quoi, si on peut le faire Today is the day. If there's a heart among us who would like to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior right now, do it right now. It's a holy moment. It's a holy place in this minute. It's a privilege to be here today. Come and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord. Today is an appointment day. That's your day. Don't miss it. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Bring your Bible with me. 
We're going to read some verses. We want to discover the secrets. The secrecy behind mouth. Your mouth is so secret. Your mouth is so important. Your mouth cannot go at any place. Your mouth is supposed to keep holy. I'm going to be showing you verses in the Bible. Telling you how important your mouth is. Oh, God forbid if we have the two mouths. That <laughs> will be too much. Only one is too much. God has given two eyes, two ears, two holes in the nose, but one mouth. Imagine we have two. <laughs> we'll destroy the entire world. I cannot forget when they were looking for the weapon of mass, mass destruction in Iraq. Mass destruction in Iraq. Remember uh, the war between the United States and Iraq? Saddam Hussein, you can forget that name. And he was hiding somewhere in a hole. They found him. The first thing they were looking for in him and they make him open his mouth with a flashlight I don't know what they were looking for I don't know what they were looking for in his mouth but they had him open his mouth and with a flashlight Maybe they know. Maybe they know the weapon of mass destruction was in his mouth. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I'm gonna prove you that the mouth is very important, very secret. You cannot put your mouth in any place. You cannot put your mouth in any circumstance. Your word counts. Your mouth is very powerful. Psalm 51 verse 15. Psalm 145 verse 3. Psalm 145 verse 3. Say, my mouth will praise the Lord. In Matthew 12, verse 37, for the word, by the word, for by the word you will be acquitted. By the words, you will be acquitted, and by the word, you will be condemned. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 19 In the multitude of words they want not sin but he that refrain his lips is wise Ephesians chapter 4 verse 27 Ephesians chapter 4 verse 27 Do not let any unholy talk come out of your mouth but only what is helpful for others 
Paul qui va aider l'autre monde. According to the needs. Et, et selon besoin. That is me. That, that we may put light to the ears of those who are listening. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 28. 17, verse 28. Even a fool when he holds his peace. Is counted as wise. And he that shut his lips is a steam a bright of understanding. Proverbs 18, verse 21. The tongue has the power of life and deadly. The tongue has the power of life and death. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Matthew 15, Matthew 15 verse 11 to 18. What goes into someone's mouth does not But what comes out of the mouth that's the one who defiled them. Acts 19, the book of Acts 19, verse 13 to 16. But we're going to read the verse 13. Uh, this is the seventh son of Siva. Seven sons of Siva. The, the story of seven sons. The seven fils de Siva. The Siva. The seven sons of Siva. They fit their mouth. They could cast out devil. But they couldn't. They say in the name of Jesus that Paul preached. Get out. Yeah. They But the, the devil said, listen to them. The demons say, the demon said, the demon Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who, who are you? Who, who are you to speak? And you know the rest of the story. The demon beat them up. If your mouth is not sacred, the demon won't listen to you. This is a way to tell you how important your mouth is. In Matthew 21, verse 21, Jesus said, Truly I say unto you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what I, what I did, but you will tell the fig tree, you will tell the mountain to move and the mountain will obey you. Do you understand how important it is? 
Sometimes we are so confused. We can even this day cast out the demon. The demon. We can even this day speak over the sick. Just because our mouth is not holy, you talk too much in people's business. You say too many wrong things. How could the devil listen to you? No wonder why the devil is still among you. No wonder why the sick still sick. No wonder why the king is still there. No wonder why the fever cannot go. When your mouth is holy, it's not that simple. When I post a post, say go, they go. It's not that simple when Peter and John say you are healed and they were healed. Just because their mouth was holy. James chapter 3, verse 1 to 17. Verse 1 to 17. Verse 1 to 17. You see the tongue, you have no idea who, what the tongue is about. It's not easy to tame, to control the tongue. The tongue is a small part in your body. But it makes great pride and boast. The tongue also is a fire and a world of evil. The tongue is a fire. So the fire, and the tongue is a world of evil. Among the peshe, among the part of the body, the tongue corrupts the whole body. Now ask yourself a question: Why you cannot do what Peter did? You cannot do what Apostle did. Just because of our mouth. The tongue corrupts the whole body. And the tongue can destroy someone's life. And the tongue can bring you to hell. In the verse 8. James chapter 3, verse 8. No human being can control the tongue. It's a restless evil full of deadly poison. No wonder why the neighbor next to you is sick. No wonder why your husband is so sick. No wonder why your wife is so sick. It's just because of your tongue. The way you treat them. The way you yell them. The way you curse them. The way you treat them. That no wonder why the, the marriage cannot sing. Because your mouth destroyed your husband and wife and the children destroyed. You curse your children all the time. You curse your children all the time. You tell them there will be no one, no one in this world. You tell your children there will be a fire. 
You tell the children they will be homeless. You curse them instead of blessing them. The Jew people, the Jewish people, Jewish people, every morning they pronounce a blessing over the children. That's why the prosperous wash. Tell me the next time you find a Jew begging for money. Jim Killer, who is a Jew, begging for more money. When they see one in need, they give him hand and help them. They help each other. They bless each other. No wonder why Haitian people are the way they are. They kill each other. They hurt each other. The one who kidnapped is just someone who's selling pistach. Peanuts in the street. And you ask them thousands of dollars. Who did that? Who did that? Oh, that's the those who live in the dark. Those who get money. They give the people weapons. So they can destroy each other. Because anyone who wants to control people. Anyone who wants to control the country, put division, divide them, divide them. If you want to control Haiti, you just divide the country, make them fight. I'm telling you, any marriage that has no understanding. Who has discussion all the time between husband and wife will not stand. You can be living in the same house. You can be living in the same house. You can be living, you can look at the same guy. But your heart cannot unite it. No other one you sleep aside from each other. No wonder why you sleep in which side of the bed. Just because there's no communion between us. Living in the same house doesn't mean you get together. You get full people, but you cannot full God. Understand why the people of Haiti is so divided just because the rich people buy the weapons. Pull it in the ghetto, make them fight against each other, destroy each other. That's why they hold us in the poverty. James 3 verse 9. With the tongue, we praise our Lord. We praise our Lord and Father, and with the tongue, we curse human beings who have been made in the image of God. How can you say you love God and don't love your neighbor? You don't see God. But you see your brother and sisters. Start the love right there. James 3 verse 10. Out of the same mouth come praises and curses. Brothers and sisters, this should not be Somebody will say, Bad Lemonsa. Bad Lemonsa. I'm a bushwabano, they are bushwabano, they are. 
Baka baba mi kumwe. Close my golden book. Amen. But I want to tell you today. Tell me book. Every single word that you say counts. When the Bible says by your words you will be judged. Your word can condemn you. And keep you in poverty. But your word can release you. Your word can give you victory. Let's keep our mouth secret. Let's keep our mouth holy. Even, even sexually, your mouth cannot go to any place. You need your mouth to praise God. Because somebody is sick. And the Bible says James chapter 5. Uh, those who pray can heal the sick. Please control every single word. Don't talk, 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 talk. The way you hear of your sister, the way you hear of your husband, the way you yell at your wife, one day you'll be surprised when you come before God. He's going to turn the tea. He's going to turn the tea. They will call it tea. To hear exactly what you say. I study electronics. I know. Every word that you say doesn't go away. They stay in the air. That's why we have radio. When you speak something off your microphone, the air catch it and we mend it. Your word never disappears. Otherwise, how will you be listening in a radio station? That's because your words stay in the air and they have an antenna to catch the word from the air and bring it to the reception of your radio reception so you can listen to your radio. It's not easy. That's the way radio works. Next time you're going to say one word. Remember your word remain. Your word remain somewhere in the air. What you said in the darkness will be revealed into the light. Sometimes you, you, you don't know how so and so knew what I say. I remember that king who said, How come the prophet knows everything that I say? There's one in the house of the king who said, This man of God, even when you speak into the room, he will know. Your word remains. What you say against your brother and sister will just disappear. It's in the air with a kind of frequency. And God is listening to every word that you say. Control your mouth. You talk too much. You hear too much. You tell too much. Give up this things people doesn't have to know about your life. You tell them all. In five minutes, somebody can tell you all their lies. Please, please, take control of your mouth. What your word remains, don't stop disappearing. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, and please, next time you're going to say one word, think twice about what you're going to say. There's three things to know before you say anything. Is it true? 
Is it necessary? Est-ce que nécessaire? Or is it can hurt somebody? Est-ce que ça va mal offenser au monde? For the praise of God, we remove all the dirt from your mouth. All the bad joke from your mouth. All the bad joke from your mouth. So your mouth can be holy in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's stand up. Amen.